Hi everyone, Yvonne Heath here with Love Your Life to Death and I am standing under the stage at River Mill Park, Huntsville, Ontario. We're going to stand by the water but it's raining so I'm here with my new friend Andrew McLeod and I met Andrew when I spoke at a Provost meeting. He came up to me after and said, I need to tell you about my friend Chuck. So thanks for being here today, Andrew. It's a pleasure. Yes, mm. and I'd love you to share this wonderful story. You emailed it to me. I fell in love with the story. Tell me about your friend Chuck. Well, I thought that this would be a good story because he's a great example, but I've known Chuck for many, many years, since the 70s, mm -hmm. and uh, he lives down in Niagara area, or lived in Niagara yes. area, mm -hmm. uh, with his wife, and they had two sons, mm -hmm. um, and uh, Chuck died uh, in about 2011, mm -hmm. and for the last couple of years, he spent all his time preparing mm -hmm. for this big day. Mm -hmm. um, there were various things. Well, he was larger than life, a fun guy, mm -hmm. and made everything fun. So he even planned his own funeral, and we would go in there and he'd say, you gotta get rid of that, that looks terrible, and <laughs> things like that. Yeah. He would. Um, he didn't call it a funeral. He called it the wedding, so it had kind of I a positive spin to it. Mm -hmm. And um, anyway, he had everything totally arranged. He had all his paperwork ready, and he had, um, you know, the files, and so all that had to be done when he passed away was yes. um, buy Breathe. the booze and have a big party. <laughs> yes. And, uh, so uh, it made everything easier for everybody. So right. I thought that would be an amazing story. It is an amazing story. And when you said that, you know, of course, he was larger than life, a wonderful person, a giving person, volunteer. Mm -hmm. So the, the devastating news of having cancer and, you know, knowing that his time was limited, mm -hmm. he, of course, grieved and it was angry and sad and all of those things that you have to allow yourself to feel. But then he decided to say, that's it. I'm going to be the boss of the rest of my life and live my life fully, but also the gift of helping his family be able to move on after um, his death. And uh, I read that he even said to his wife, you know, should the opportunity come, I would love you to remarry. And, uh, and of course, you asked Gail if it was okay if we shared this story, and she thought, absolutely, Chuck would love for us to share this story. And she, because he gave them so many gifts of planning and preparing and saying, I want you to live your life after I'm gone, she is now remarried, mm -hmm. but still just honors Chuck and is happy to be sharing this story. That's and extraordinary. they very happily talk about Chuck as yes. if uh, he was, um, you know, just He's another still a part of, yes, yep, part exactly. of life and yeah. uh, was an important part of her mm -hmm. life. And they have two sons and mm -hmm. now her life moves on. And uh, she said he would be smiling that we are sharing this story, which um, I'm just so honored that uh, we're doing this, Andrew. So I do thank you for sharing that story. And this is to, I would say to Chuck, thank you for leaving this legacy of love. And Gail and his sons, uh, I, that's just a, a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is he's helping others to live their life to, to the fullest, plan their end of life, and carry on, right? And thank you for letting me share the story, yes, Yvonne. Very pleased. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.